two young boys in 1937 took a Tom Sawyer Huck Finn journey 70 miles down the track to Lebanon, Tennessee. I'm Dale Welch. I'm the Putnam County Historian and I volunteer at the Monterey Depot Museum. George Parker, 10 years old, and DeWitt Sampley, 11 years old, had concocted a plan to make the journey to Lebanon, Tennessee, hoboing the train. On the morning that it happened, George had to wake DeWitt up. He said he was asleep on a sawdust pile, but they got up and, and got in a, a freight car and headed out. On the way through Cookville, they were almost discovered by a railroad boss, but they hid around some machinery. As they went down through Sebo Wisha, they smelled breakfast cooking, and that made them awful hungry. They finally made it to Lebanon, Tennessee, and they said they spent the night at a sawmill down there. And then they saw that trains were going back, so they hopped on a train going eastbound back to Monterey. But by the time they got to, to Cookville, a railroad boss discovered them and kicked them off the train. It was there about where Tennessee Tech is now, and they had to walk across fields all the way to where the Winona Motel is at Highway 70. They said that they were awful hungry boys, and he was a DeWitt was a shy boy, but but George walked down and knocked on a door. A woman came to the door, gave him a biscuit, but didn't see DeWitt up in the road. And DeWitt said, you know, my buddy wouldn't even give me a bite of his biscuit. And so they walked down a little ways and, and DeWitt's hunger overcame his shyness and they walked in and, and knocked on another door. A man came to the door this time and asked some serious questions that little boys is hard to answer, but come to find out, the man had been in partners with DeWitt's grandfather in a stand of timber. Come on in, boys, come on in. DeWitt said that that two little hungry boys went to sleep at the, at the breakfast table eating fried chicken and biscuits and gravy and all that stuff. When they woke up, he said that, that uh, the man stopped the trailways bus and paid their fare on back to Monterey. While they were riding to Monterey, they got to talking, well now, uh, we're gonna be in some bad trouble if we tell what really happened. So they concocted a story. When the bus arrived in Monterey, George went on home and, and his family was so glad to see him. They had been wondering where he was at and they fixed him another big dinner. And he said he wasn't about to turn that down even though he was full as a tick from eating the fried chicken. But, but DeWitt, he was a shy little boy still. So he didn't go home. He figured he was gonna be in some bad trouble. So he went and, and hid at a sawmill where his daddy worked at night. Everybody was looking for him, but his daddy discovered him hiding there and took him home. I'm sure he grabbed him up by the seat of his breeches and, ca and carried him home. And when he walked him in, he said, Mama, don't you whip this boy. I think he's pretty well whipped himself. <laughs>